What is happening, guys? We're back with some Zelda Skyward Sword. Okay, we took on Garum in the last dungeon. We're definitely gonna be fate, uh, fighting him again. I think that was like this first, first little fight with us. He was pretty much toying with us the whole time. I mean, it was a different fight. I didn't expect that fight to be like that. You know, usually the boss fights in the beginning are beginning of games are pretty easy, but that was like totally like out of left field. I did not expect the fact that you had to like psych him out every time you do you attack him. You have to like you know fake your sword right and then hit him with left left swing. You do right up down. You gotta pretty much fake him out every single attack, and he was pretty quick. So that was pretty fun actually. Uh, it was definitely different. I wasn't using my motion controls. I mean, that would that probably would have made it fun too. I was using my uh, right analog stick on the controller, but we got the tablet, so we we, we made our way back to Skyloft, and now we're gonna um, find out where we're gonna go next. I think we gotta go to Elden Canyon or Elden Volcano, which is kind of funny because uh, Breath of the Wild and other connection is Elden Elden Peak. Like the Elden region is pretty much all. Volcano, volcanic, and Goron land. So, I feel like this game has a lot more ties to Breath of the Wild uh, than we ri originally were to know about. If you look up um, Zeltic on YouTube, he covers the, the whole Skyward Sword uh, story and the lore. I'm actually looking forward to uh, watching that after I beat the game because there's a lot of spoilers in it. But apparently, Skyward Sword was. Uh, first game that came out on the timeline of Zelda, because, you know, there's so much reincarnation between Link and Zelda within all, th all the games, and I think uh, Breath of the Wild has a lot of ties with this game, and the next game, Breath of the Wild 2, whatever it's going to be called, but there's a lot of timelines, there's a lot of different lore, and uh, it's really interesting, like, it's pretty awesome, actually, and it actually kind of ties into, like, you know, what is reincarnation, what does this have to do with, like, you know, makes you wonder as a human being, you know, it's, it's bigger than it just, you know, a, a game that's just going to be like, oh, I want to, you know, buy a game just to make, and then just, you know, a company just selling a product. I really love how there's a lot more story and depth in this franchise in general. That's why, you know, I've always been a huge fan of Zelda, and Zelda's gotten me into, like, a lot of games in the future with, like, you know, with Dark Souls and ad action adventure open world games. This game, like this franchise, was like the start of all that. So I gotta have a really big. Uh, wish, how how can I say this without sounding, uh, without being like perverted? I was gonna say something else, but that's, I got a big heart for uh, Zelda games. So all right, and enough of that rambling. On, let's continue on here. Let's put the slab back into the spot where it belongs. Open up another portal in the sky. Second opening in the cloud barrier. The northeast. So the northeast was where Elden uh, region was in Breath of the Wild. If you remember, the map was huge. The Elden region was in the northeast. More like, yeah, Midwest. Uh, actually, I shouldn't say that because, um, what the hell was a region in the north, the very northeast? I think it was called, it started with an A, I forgot. Um, anyways, it was more north, like mid, middle north, I would say. I don't know. It's gonna bother me now.
<laughs> yeah, who is Kooky Who? I think I talked to her before, actually. Some of those students said that they thought they'd seen her carried off by a monster. She must have been kidnapped. She's so cute when they someone was supposed to be off with her. Find Kyuko, please, please, where is my heart going? We got it. I like how like it's so funny how like they give you the hey! option to be like a prick. <laughs> like there is a I didn't report, but there's a you could literally like knock down the chandelier just to get this heart piece. And like the guy was like, Oh, please don't whatever you do. I know you see that those coins up there, but whatever you do, don't even think about knocking it down. And then you just do it anyways, and then you're like, nah, I'm not gonna help you out. I'm not gonna work for you. But I mean Obviously, you would want to work for him because you get like an extra prize at the end, whatever it is. We'll find out later in the game. But we gotta find out where this lady's daughter is. I have no idea where. Maybe I wonder if our trainer knows. Let's go talk to him. Oh my god, I keep doing that. I still do that, dude. I keep hit. Ah, I can't talk. I keep hitting the CR button thinking I gotta like. She's my sword and my shield, and it's not that. It's like making me bring up my nut. Two shot. Two shot. Okay, stop doing that. Yeah, Mike, I'm pretty rusty, so we can control the sword. Okay. And I don't mind using motion controls, I just, I don't know. I don't feel like waving my arms around, bro. I just want to like, just use my controller. Um, no, okay, never mind. He has nothing. He's not gonna say nothing about the daughter. Actually, I wonder if she's, I wonder if she's back here. Zelda theme songs, even for like Ocarina of Time, the Kokiri Forest, the Gerudo Valley, the Hyrule Fields, and the Pona song, the Ocarina of Time song, the Jarl's Mask, dude, there's so many like awesome songs, amazing theme songs they have in every Zelda game pretty much. I gotta say, maybe Breath of the Wild was probably like the one of my least favorite. <laughs> I love Breath of the Wild, don't get me wrong, but... Man, that game it was a great open world game, but it lacked dungeons. It really lacked with, with its dungeons, man. I really hope the next game has better dungeons than that game. Where is this little girl? Okay. I don't know. Huh? Okay. So maybe let's go check the graveyard then. Is that lumpy pumpkin to use some here after you all? Oh, wait a second. I've been there before. Just there before to get that piece of art I was just talking about. Oh, it's daylight right now, so that thing's gonna show up. That's not like a quick one. Yeah, I'll just sleep real quick. Oh, this lady's not calling me. 
this lady's mm -hmm. weird. Come on, let's go to bed. Lady's inside now. Let's go. The graveyards are. Taking your sword out, dude. Like, what? I'm trying to find out where this guy lives. He's just talking about. He actually. I don't know. Maybe I gotta go to that island, maybe. Gondo's house. Maybe it's over here. Let me see. Wait, hold on a second. What does he gotta say? Hey, hey. Fly at night. That's right. Let's not do that. Hey! Okay. Is this door unlocked? No. Is there like anything behind these graves? Hey! 
See what they gotta say. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
over by the tree. Okay. Well, let's go to sleep. make this a short episode. <laughs> Bro, you only, you're only shopping when it's nighttime. You're not even here during the day. This cemetery? It's gotta be this one. Where is it? Yeah, these are working, dude. Is this the wrong cemetery? I get who it is. Maybe there's like another cemetery I gotta go to. By the cemetery. That's that's the cemetery. Is there another cemetery? This is Skylock, like where, where else is Skylock? Is there like a, another like an island they're talking about? Like a little island on the map? I don't see what he's talking about. You got the cemetery right here, that's it. Like, what do you mean? Beatles Island, Pumpkin Fun Fun Land, Fern Woods. I don't get it. Can I, like, move the mouse cursor or anything? No, I can't. Damn, dude. I can't zoom into anything else. I gotta be at that area. Um, I don't know. Back up, do it again in the morning, and see what happens.
Okay, so, oh, there's a weird <laughs> bird. Hi. So you spoke to that old creepy bird, did you? Oh, deal a blow to the gravestone nearest the tree and then move it. Deal a blow to it? So we gotta, like, hit it, I guess. So let's try doing that then, I guess. We'll, um, we'll sleep and then blow it. Whatever that means. We'll try that out. If it doesn't work, then, um, I'll just do this on my own and then just record the next episode in Elden. Elden Peak. Whatever you want to call it. I gotta grab some food, I'm starving. Let's go back to the... <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is funny. <laughs> What's this guy's name? Beatrix? My name is Beatrix. I am now a monster who resides here in the symbol. <laughs> Please allow me to correct my one misconception. Oh, I'm certainly a monster. I wouldn't dream of terrorizing the people of this town. You see, this adorable little girl is the only one who didn't let loose a blood hurling scream at the same since she began to visit me here, I felt positive to him. Okay. He made a little friend. But as I surely can imagine, it has proven quite difficult to break the ice when they are struck with paralyzing fear at the most mere sight of me. I assure you, nothing would fill my heart with joy more than to be friends with the fine people of this town. But as soon as I try to approach any of them and extend my claw in friendship, they run and scream as they as though they've seen a walking nightmare. Oh right, silly me, I've gotten ahead of myself. You see, there is an old tale among my monstrous kin that goes as follows. Uh -huh. It seems that when humans make another human... Make, wait. 
It seems as when humans make other humans happy, the happy humans produce a substance known as gratitude crystal. <laughs> gratitude crystals are quite amazing. Just look at them and knowing they're such a gratitude in the world can turn me into a monster. Hey! So what do I get this crystal on? <laughs> Beatrix. <laughs> they could be also be lying wall here. Though. So you gotta help people pretty much. <laughs> uh, he can probably give me some good rewards too. Maybe five. Okay, so he wants five gratitude crystals. Well, I already helped out a few people, so I should already have one. But no, of course not. I gotta do more work. You gotta make. You always. You guys gotta always gotta make Link do more work. Come on, little girl. Hi. Yeah, he's not a bad man. Of course, he's not. You got your parents worried sick. You little brat. Just kidding. You deserve a spanking. Come on, little girl. Now oh, I gotta be the messenger. Now your mom's gonna be mad at me because I didn't bring you home. So I gotta go tell your mommy now. So let me go. Let me go back to bed. Tell her in the morning. And see what happens. I've always liked like little cyclists like this. I don't know why. It's funny. It brings out the game more. She's not there. I gotta wait. Yeah, I gotta. I gotta sleep. So let's go to sleep and then we'll uh, go back up there. Can't go in Zelda's room. Well, let's just go in this guy's room. Let's, let's use his bed.
Got the first one. No, oh, nice. We got five. So let's give it to that guy. And, um... Hi. Okay. So we want five, so we already have five on that. All right. All right. Let's bring it to this guy and see what he gives us, and then we'll. We'll shut the game. We'll uh, continue this tomorrow. Once my uh, online course is over, which is going to be next, after next week, it'll be a lot easier. Alright, so alright, that'll be all for this episode, guys. Until next time, I'm Zelda Skyward Sword.